Hi, it's Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Stock Signals video for Tuesday the 12th of March. Big correction last week has presented uh, lots and lots of potential fifth wave moves on the daily time frame. So wanted to go through our Stock Signals membership here. Potential longs today in our membership area, you can see on the 12th. Our members would simply click on the image to download the spreadsheet, which looks something like this for today. As you can see, there's over 100 potential fifth wave moves on the daily time frame. I've just chosen one of those to show you an example. So let's go through this. Uh, I've chosen GLPI on the daily time frame. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for MultiCharts, TradeStation, and Ninja Trader. So let's go through uh, the basics of this setup. So first of all, in our Stock Signals membership, there's a few filters that filters out those potential trades. So the first one is we've had a wave for, so we've had some profit taking against that main bullish trend, and it's found support in one of our automated target zones here. So our probability zones here are green, amber, red. So we found support in our amber zone on Friday last week. And that represents an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones up here. The next filter is the, the performance of this wave 4. So our 535 oscillator here pulls back between 90 and 140%. Fantastic. If it stays between here and starts to crown and go up, this is a really good sign that way for that profit taking pullback has behaved as expected. And then again, the stochastic, so the middle um, of the sub charts now, we've had a false breakout on the top. That denotes a really strong bullish trend. So since uh, we can see on uh, for earnings, we've had some profit taking. So that stochastic pulled back against that strong bullish trend. It's crossed over in the oversold zone, and now it is most likely to want to return to that overbought zone and continue that main bullish trend. So those are the three main filters for our uh, Stock Signals membership that generates all of those signals on the spreadsheet. Now, I'm going to use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, as I said, for the ThinkSwim platform to set up this trade. It's very, very simple. So part of our uh, platform, our software, is we've got this 6-4 moving average high. So that's, that's an advanced 6-4 moving average. So we want to be outside of that 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here, for today's bar position. Yesterday, we got the gap up, we maintained the gap, and we got higher volume. How do I know that? I've also plugged in our black box breakout indicator, which measures volume for each candle. When we see these blue and gray candles, they're low volume. So a gray candle is a down volume, uh, sorry, a down candle with low volume. A gray candle is an up candle with low volume. As we can see on Friday, we got a new wave for low with a gray candle. So it was a positive day. We were bullish engulfing on the previous day's uh, doji there. But then yesterday on Monday, we got a gap up, we got increased volume because it's green. So it's a not candle, but it's increased volume from the day before. So I'm using that strategy here to, to really look at that momentum building. We can see on our multiple time frame dot cloud on the bottom sub chart here as well, we've gone from all green on the multiple time frame. So we're above this EMA cloud on all of our time frames going up to weekly. Um, and we've gone from all green, we've pulled, you've seen the pullback here, and now we're going back to all green again. By the time we get through that 6 four moving average high, we will be above the cloud. So you can see the top here where my cursor is on the daily time frame, and we'll be all green again. So I've combined those to give me that uh, confidence in this high probability trade. So the entry is 36.74 above these highs of these four days as well, outside the 6 four moving average high. The stop loss is always a little bit below our wave for low there, so 35.36. And the bottom end of the target zone is at $39, so a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into the bottom end of that target zone, potentially 1 to 2 right just above that target zone as well. So good looking trade, came from our Stock Signals membership, and you know we present those every single day to our membership there, and we've used our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite just to set up this very, very simple trade. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.